does the uh, first uh, few days uh, feel of camp and just kind of the comfort level for you? Uh, no, it's been feeling good. Uh, you know, you've been waiting for this the whole summer, so uh, no, I'm excited. And, uh, yeah, it feels felt good these two days. What's the influence Matthias has had on you coming in here, and how much has he helped you, and how much do you guys talk and things like that? Uh, obviously, we talk a lot. Um, you know, he's helped me a lot since he came here, and, uh, you know, I try to learn from him every day. How much are you embracing this opportunity that you have? Obviously, there's a hole there on the on the uh, right side, on the back end. How much are you embracing this opportunity to take advantage of it? Uh, well, I want to be part of the team and, you know, contribute. And uh, I can play it both left and right, and we'll see what happens. When it comes to your experience and at the NHL level, what areas of your game do you think you maybe have to round out to solidify that spot? Uh, I think uh, these two last years, I got some games, you know, I got my feet wet a little bit and, uh, you know, I'm getting more and more comfortable and, uh, yeah, it feels good and I worked hard this summer, so, no, I'm feeling good for the season. What were the playoffs like for you, Phil, last year? Um, no, obviously, we, it didn't go as we wanted last year and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it was unfortunate what happened and, uh, no, we're excited for this, uh, this coming season and, uh, Hopefully we can do something better. How about you? Like personally, like you obviously had some minutes. You got in some games. Sure, you wanted to play more, more like any player does. But how did you kind of feel like you were adjusting to that type of pace and that that level of play? Um, are you talking about yeah, like? You um, no, I, I I felt fine. You know, I uh, um, I just tried to help uh, the team in any way I could in uh, the minutes I played last year. And uh, um, no, I, I was feeling. Confident, you know. Yeah, there's, there's, it seems like there's as somebody asked earlier, like a real opportunity for you to kind of grab it here. You're, you know, a few years out of being drafted, do you feel like you're comfortable and ready to kind of to grab uh, grab a spot here? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I I feel good. Uh, I feel confident, and uh, you know, it's been two good days here in camp, and I I just want to keep that going. Do you feel like it's time? Like you've been around the edges here for a few years, and you know, you were young and. Now you're 22, and there's a job there, and maybe you're old enough now to, and experienced enough to take it. Uh, do you feel this is your time now? Uh, yeah, I, I feel confident in my abilities, and uh, you know, I feel like I'm ready to take another step in my game, and I and I want to do so too. So yeah, for sure. Is that uh, I don't know? Is that pressure? You know, and do you embrace that pressure? Is it this is sort of the meeting between opportunity and preparation, and you're standing right there at the corner. Uh, I I don't see it as pressure. I see it as you know, like you said, an opportunity, and you know everything I've been working through summers and seasons, you know, kind of builds you up for the opportunity. So no, I, I feel ready. If you get a chance to play a regular shift with the TSX, would that help you? Would that be uh, positive for a young Swedish guy to play with Matthias every day? Uh, yeah, I think it would be positive uh, for sure. And, uh, you know, he's a big role, role model for yeah. everybody on this team. Uh, he's a really good leader too, so no, of course. Has your development up to this point been the way you want it to be? Are you ahead of schedule? Or are you behind schedule? Are you on schedule? Are you comfortable with how things have gone leading up to this? Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I feel good. Uh, I feel like I had a really good summer and, uh, you know, I came right into camp. So, no, I, I feel really good. Where did you spend summer? Stockholm. Stockholm? Stockholm, Sweden. Who did you skate with? Anyone we know? Uh, I skate uh, with Daniel Broberg, uh, skating coach in Stockholm a lot. And uh, then we have uh, we have a group of uh, NHL guys uh, that skate together in August as well. Uh, so, no, it's been a good summer. Philip, I remember when um, Matias got traded here, I asked you if you knew him, and you're like, no, I don't really know him. Um, outside of being the friendliest Viking that we've ever met, uh, <laughs> what have you learned about him? And I know a lot of people think he's going to guide you, and he probably will this year, but getting to know the guy, Matias Okum, what's that been like? Uh, no, it's been awesome. He's uh, such a nice guy, and uh, I got the opportunity to sit next to him in the locker room. So, no, I've got to know him pretty well, and... Uh, yeah, he's it's, it's been really good for me and everybody else since he came to the team, and uh, obviously it's a big part of this team. Sounds like the, there's at least one member of the coaching staff that had a chance to come over and visit you in, in Sweden. Can you tell us about that, and what, how did that help you, or what did you learn from that experience? 
Yeah, uh, no, he came over and, uh, yeah, obviously he spent time with me a little bit and, uh, you know, got to see how I have it in uh, Stockholm and uh, kind of see how I train there. So, no, it was obviously nice and, uh, yeah, fun. What was the message to you? Uh, just matches that he wanted to come over and uh, kind of see um, how the summer been and he was hang out and talk.